Um, all right, so in this video, um, we are going to practice one of the things we saw in the last lecture on orthographic projections. Okay, now we know fully what isometric drawings are. To my right over here, there's a, a drawing of an isometric block. Um, our aim is to try to reproduce this isometric block this asymmetric block to my right, okay, on what we call a, an isometric sheet, okay? On this sheet, we can see lines um, in, inclined to the horizontal at 30 degrees. You cannot see the horizontal line. You can see our vertical lines. You can see our vertical lines, okay? And then the inclined lines, all right? All the inclined line lines are at 30 degrees to the horizontal, which you cannot see. Or you can also um, look at it like the angle between each of the, the angle between each, every two set of um, horizontal lines, I'm trying to draw one. So for example, the angle between this line uh, oh, um, I didn't get my line correct. <laughs> Let me draw my line again. So the angle which the each line. So the angle between this line, okay, and this one. Okay, there's an angle of 120. Okay, so we have 120. One twenty degrees. Okay, and between each of these lines and then the horizontal, we have 30 degrees, and it's the same for the other side, okay? So here too, we have 30 degrees. So let's clear our sheet to reproduce our drawing, okay? Now in this, in this kinds of drawing, you will, you have to, basically produce all the isometric lines first. So on our ISO sheets, there are only isometric lines, okay? So look out for the isometric lines in the, whatever drawing you have been given, okay? Try and find the isometric line. So this is an ISO line, uh, this is also an ISO line, all these, all these vertical lines, okay? And all these horizontal lines, they are all ISO lines. This is one. This is also an ISO line. This is also an ISO line, okay. But this one, from this point over here, um, from this point over here, all the way down, this diagonal line is not an ISO line. This one is also not an ISO line. So what we do is that we try to get all the ISO lines onto the ISO sheet. Then this point will be hanging, okay? Okay, so we are done drawing all the ISO lines, then we join the hanging point. Let's try that. Okay, so let me start my 30 line. Okay, now every, this sheet tells us that every, from one point to another point is 10 millimeters. So from this point to this point, that is 10 millimeters. Let me pick uh, So, I have my line. Okay. So let's start. 
Okay, this line is 35. So he's going to, I'm going to move three in it. That is 10, 20, 30, then an extra half of the distance. Okay. Then our next, which other ISO line have we? Okay, we have this one, 15, 15. We have this dimension, 15, and then 15. So I'm going to have, this is 10, and then a half, okay? I'm going to move up along an ISO line. Um, this distance is 10. Okay, and then a half. Okay, right. Now here too, it comes down by the same length of same length of fifteen. This length is the same as this one, so fifteen. So now I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down and over here, I'm going to move 70 all the way up. 70. Um, let's count. I lost count. So this is, uh, okay, let me skip this from here. From here, the red corner to the next um, construction ISO line is half, okay? So this is 10, 20. I mean, what I mean by half was five millimeters, okay? So five, 10, uh, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 65. There might seven to be right here. Okay, so I'll have to erase. Oops, I ended up erasing the whole line. I'm just going to draw it again. Okay, so. Um, uh, 15, 25. 35, 45, 55, 65, 7, 72, and here. Oops. Oops. Now you're using this again. Okay. Let's keep trying. Line, 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 line. Okay. Then I seventeen on here. Okay. And then from this is the seventeen line. This is the seventy line. From where it ends, there's also another ISO line down by the same dimension of 15. Can you see it? This is parallel to this, okay? But so the same, that is in the same dimension, okay? With practice, now practice, you see, you will see it. So I'll leave some of the work for you to practice. Okay, so I come back to my line, then come down on the next ISO line, 15. My 15 will end here. Okay. Okay. There is another dimension of 15 here. Okay. So I'm going to repeat the same thing over here. So I have my 15. Which going to end here? All right. It's supposed to be joined. Still referring to the ISO, giving ISO drawing. All right, then by this 15, this will also be 15. Okay. All right, 
So but when we come here, the given dimension is seven. The given dimension is seven. Okay, so the same seven will apply to here as well. So I'm going to try to find seven. I know half halfway is five. So I'm just going to have half of halfway. So this is five and a bit more to make seven. I did the same thing here. Half and a bit more to make seven. All right. Yeah. So I'll join that carefully since you're using freehand. You can also use your rule, but the rule slows you down. Uh, I don't like my life. Enjoy the game. Let me get my seven again. So there is my seven. Then I try to join it to the other seven. Okay, it's better this time. Right. Now let's, like I said, we have to complete draw. We have to finish drawing all the ISO lines. Okay. Let's finish drawing all the ISO lines. There's another 30 here. So from this line, um, okay. So that is 10, 20, and then 30, okay? 10, 20, 30. So we have these two hanging, okay? We can throw it, what we have to do now is to join this point to uh no i don't like that okay so i'm gonna go to another one okay you join the point okay so I've, i will obtain my first slant side okay you can see clearly clearly here just by um physically examining visually examining the slant side that these two sides are parallel okay also especially since you have not been giving another detail to help you draw it okay then this is also an iso line so i'll continue this iso line um till it stops where till it stops where i have to move the same distance so this same distance I move the same distance here. Okay, this distance is 40. 70 minus 15 plus 15. 70 minus, minus, seventy minus 15 plus 15. So this is going to be 40. Okay, so I'm going to, this is 40, 40. I'm going to move 40 and run line. So I'm going to move. Going to move. Getting something wrong. Going to move forward. So from here, going to move. One, two, three, four. Okay. Then I can join. So join this ISO line that I have to this last ISO line. Now we look here carefully. You see that it's just a vertical one over here. This one is just a vertical line. Okay, I'm going to draw that vertical line. So straight back down and so it goes down that way. Okay, so there we are. We are done with our drawing. So this is an ISO drawing. Isometric drawing. ISO. 
metric drawings on ISO sheets. Okay. Thank you very much. Subscribe, make sure you subscribe to my channel for the next video upload. Bye.